Uh, as promised, today we're going to start a little series on uh, brake job on my daily. Uh, it's 2001 uh, Ford Focus ZX3. It's got the twin cam four cylinder. I think it's two liter. And uh, brakes are shot in this thing. I've been driving it for a while with all kinds of noise coming out of the back. I'm terrified to even look back there. Uh, the front rotors are just trashed. Uh, this thing's only got 60,000 miles on it now. Um, we bought it from a guy who never drove it. So it sat and sat and sat. And that's what really destroys rotors uh, when they are allowed to rust and then wear that off and rust and wear that off. He just didn't drive it very much. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pull the wheels off and do some brake work. Got the front tire off and uh, you can see this rotor. It's got quite a lip on it. So uh, all these rotors have minimum thicknesses and this one says 20 millimeters. So what we got is kind of hard to see, but this, uh, let me uh, block some light. There we go. This guy's sitting at right at 800. So that's 20.3 millimeters. So three tenths of a millimeter to spare. These are probably gonna come out a bit under, but uh, yeah, you know, that'll be just fine. It'd be better than what I got right here. And uh, I'm not real hard on brakes anyways. This is a highway car. So we're gonna run it. This would be a, a great example of uh, turning turning a really, really worn rotor. So let's get this rotor off and, uh, and make it happen. All right, we got the, uh, got the caliper off and uh, rotor, you know, funny there's not a retaining bolt on this anywhere so you know the rotor just comes right off so there we go let's go give this thing uh, a truing up so we're just going to hit it with a little wire wheel That's pretty good. Okay, I've got this wheel hub. Uh, it's it's five lug, uh, and it will become obvious what I'm doing here in a minute. But first, we've got to get a four lug rotor onto this five lug hub. So I'm simply going to align one of the holes. Now, the concentricity of this is not that important. but it's darn close to hub centric here. Uh, but I'll align one of the studs and then just use a transfer punch to uh, give me four more or three more holes. And these are just gonna be clearance holes for bolts. Three will be totally sufficient. Okay, there we go. Now let's take this in and drill it. Okay, I thought I'd spare everybody the uh, the ridiculous uh, video of me drilling holes and uh, just show you the setup. Pretty simple. Got this guy sitting straight up and down. And then, uh, yeah. 
some 10, 10 millimeter uh, 10 millimeter bolts three of them will hold this just fine and uh, let's see if we can make this work okay so we got her all mounted up don't laugh don't laugh I need some clearance you're gonna see here in a minute I need clearance on this side uh, this is plenty rigid enough trust me I've done this many times I've got this thing really torqued down I've indicated all the faces as I went uh, and now I'm indicating I was able to use four bolts too by the way since I used 10 millimeter bolts way undersized from these half you know half uh, 20 thread uh, studs that go in here so I, I was able to because I aligned one hole up and then I was planning just to use three I was able to drop in a 10 in that other hole and uh, works just fine so now I got four bolts they're buzzed down with an impact and now we're indicating flatness off of the hub surface I've got maybe about half a thou wiggle maybe a thou seven tenths ish could just be dirt looks pretty darn good so we can run that one So I took off the uh, quick change tool post and there's my secret weapon. Little eBay purchase off an old Amco brake lathe. 6900 twin facing tool. Old school. So it's got little carbides in it and uh, there you go. I can cut uh, with this setup, I can cut uh, both faces in one shot. Uh, much less chance of any sort of, uh, you know, non-parallelism between the two faces. And uh, I think it does a much, much nicer job. And then, uh, of course, as in previous videos, uh, you saw, I've got some uh, anti-vibration uh, tools here to go around. They work okay. I think they've moved to... Uh, something else nowadays which is uh some kind of a, a pad or something that just lays on here with pressure uh, above the cutting surfaces but uh there we go okay so all i'm doing here is just taking the uh the little rust ring off uh you know uh, that's where the brake pad did not engage i'm just feeding the slide in uh, it's got a little bit of run out this direction, but you know what? It just doesn't matter because we're going to true the entire surface. The rust ring is the worst part about the whole job. So I'm still about, oh, I don't know what's it look like, uh, 20 thou away from the actual <laughs> rotor face, face that I need to turn. But let's get rid of this, uh, this rust ring here.
Okay, so I took a like a two thou pass, another two thou pass, and then uh, I was super close back here, so I just did a half thou and a one thou pass up here. And uh, yeah, we're all cleaned up. And what does that measure? So now that everything's everything's parallel and flat, we can just use uh, calipers. So I'm at 19.92. So I'm at it, it's 20. It's 20 millimeters, close enough. I'm right at the minimum, uh, and this will work just fine. Like I said, for this old car, I can save money, and uh, and uh, this will be fine. So one down, one to go. Okay, this is the second rotor. I uh, I cleaned up the rust ring on the outside and the inside, and then I made a two thou pass on both the inner and outer, and uh, it nearly cleaned up. I think we've got two thou left on the inside, and then if I come over here to the to the outside here, we've got looks like maybe another thou and a half. Probably go a thou and a half here, and maybe two thou over here, and see if we can clean up that last little bit. So while the other rotor's cutting, I uh, thought I'd show you the pads that came off versus a new set. Now, I don't know what pads these are, but just judging by the amount of brake dust, these are just regular semi-metallic, organic, whatever, junk. Uh, these, uh, you know, CarQuest, these aren't, aren't the greatest, but uh, these are uh, ceramic, uh, so they will put out a lot less brake dust. That's just inherent, and uh, I mean, look at that. And uh, they'll also run a little quieter. Uh, in but the downside is they do sacrifice the rotor a little bit more. So eh, you know, give and take. I just like them because they don't put out the brake dust. And you can see that's not a lot of running uh, since the last time it's been washed, and there's a massive amount of brake dust on this guy. Compare that to the rear wheel. And see that's a drum. So anyway, uh, we've got uh, we got this side uh, thrown back together. Got one one nut holding the rotor on. And uh, yeah, you can see uh, the minimum right there, 20 millimeters minimum. And we're we're right there, 19.98. There's the surface. Pretty darn nice. Okay, got it all put back together. Uh, everything looks great. This this rotor cleaned up as well. Just under 20 millimeters, 19.98 or so. Um, hey, you know we could have cut an entire new rotor out of a chunk of chunk of iron, you know. But you know, Titan has done that before, and uh, Tyson, his son, did an excellent job. I'll link that video. Um, if you want to see what it's like to cut an entire rotor out. But I thought this was an interesting use of the Amco adapter, um, the Amco cutting tool uh, onto an engine lathe. And if you've ever seen the quality of an Amco lathe, a uh, brake lathe, uh, nowhere near what, an, what a true engine lathe is like the Nardini. So uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, maybe a lot of people haven't seen that before. A lot of people have cut rotors but I've never seen a video of a person using the Amco, uh, you know, I'll call it pinch turning tool. Um, so anyways, it does great work and uh, that's, uh, that's the front of the brakes done in this car. Now we gotta go to the back. I'm probably gonna have to cut the drums. There's gonna be a lot of work going on in there. It sounds terrible. So uh, maybe there'll be a video there, maybe there won't. Anyways, uh, keep turning them out. Uh, Merry Christmas and uh, stay tuned for the next one.